Well, we're going to go now go back to Carl's Kitchen. Of course, that's Cooks of Crocus Hill in the St. Paul location. He also, of course, has a Minneapolis location and a Stillwater location. And a lot of Cooks of Crocus Hill stuff is in Kowalski's as well. We got a recipe for a breakfast dessert. Check it out. Carl, we're back in the St. Paul Kitchen, and now we've got a little two-part dessert, really. This All is right. so crazy. Tell me what's going on. You know, we have the Belcour Bakery as... Um, they relocated from Wyzetta down to Cooks in North Loop. So Diane Mua, who is the most gifted baker you can even imagine, I said, well, hey, should we do something for Thanksgiving, something cool? And she said, how about we do pan perdu? So this loaf, which there's one piece here, um, it actually comes in that length. It's twice the size of this half here. And so pan perdu is, of course, French toast. So we have this loaf, and then anybody can make French toast, but how many people can make French toast with creme brulee batter? So that, I know, it's like holy smokes. Okay, so, so but let's back up for a second. That bread is like the croissant bread, right? It's 100% croissant dough that they make into a big monster Pullman. So wow. this is a loaf of croissant dough bread. And you can right. order that next, you can, you can order, order that after the show. You can order it off the, it's on, it, it'll be the banner on the homepage. Okay, so if you wanna make French toast, you take the creme brulee batter, which you put it in the plate here, right? And then you take your big Texas toast size cut of the croissant dough, dip it in the batter, make sure you get all the sides. And you guys sell the creme brulee batter, but you're also gonna share the recipe with us, which is really just egg yolks and cream and vanilla, and, right? And vanilla. Yeah, and sugar. Yeah, super simple. Okay. And you can use like uh, brioche bread if you didn't have if you, it. Yeah, if you don't have that bread, yeah. you could do brioche, you could do Hawaiian bread. Yeah, right. perfect. Okay. Okay. So here you put, a, put it in your saute pan with a little butter, which I did just two seconds ago. And then you take out that, oh, and it is like nice caramelized on the top. Wow. And it's, this and would be a great, a great Christmas morning breakfast. You know it, or um, Friday morning, because you know Black Friday is not quite as big as it once was. Yeah. So Friday morning, it's the perfect thing. So okay. here, a little bit of uh, sugar or the uh, powdered maple sugar. syrup, powdered sugar for sure, and some real maple syrup. And for me, a little bit of sea salt. And you can see all that happened that quickly. Okay, so I'm going to run to the oven. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's actually going to make a dessert now for us from the same ingredients, and it's going to be this amazing bread pudding. And there so, it is. So what you do? So you take your croissant loaf, you cut a chunk, and then you cube it, right? So I made a bunch of these cubes. This is how, how crazy, ridiculously easy this is. You take all the cubes, you put them in. This is a, a ramekin, but you can use like a two ounce souffle, or I have this beautiful Emile Henry thing. And then a little bit of cinnamon and some cloves, or I personally love cardamom in there. So here we go, right? This is Carl Benson showing you how to be the pastry chef James Beard style, right? Because <laughs> I have no skill in this area. It's like, what is this? So then you take the creme brulee batter, right? Yep. Pour it all over the top of those cubes. Oh my goodness. And you fill it up about halfway. And I would probably, what, would you butter that ramekin maybe? Sure, but okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah you can for sure butter it and you'll be fine. And then how I long asked, do you bake it? I asked Diane, how long do you bake it? And she said, You bake it until you put a, a, a spoon in it and it's not runny. So, this is still hot. I mean, it's literally out of the oven hot. So, I would say it was in there 30 minutes. What temperature? Oh, 350. Oh my and gosh, it's absolutely it gorgeous. A bigger souffle, take a little longer. So, yeah. just keep your fork handy or your knife, you can test it, you know, like you're making a cake, and then it'll continue to cook now, right? It'll continue to get thick because the eggs will get solid. And when it is like cooled down enough that you can touch the outside, you just scoop it out. The reality is when you, you're gonna wanna taste it with your spoon, just as you're cooking, and then oh, you'll yeah. eat another spoon, and then you'll eat another spoon, and you'll eat another spoon, and you'll be, everybody be like, where was that, where was that? <laughs> You can tell I spent all day on this and, you know, 
I channeled my inner Diane Mua and here we go, just like I did. How absolutely wonderful. And you know, the thing is, is you might just want your own ramekin because I think people are going to fight over this. So there's that. We're going to share this recipe, but as you mentioned, if you go to your website, you can buy a share or you can purchase both the creme brulee and the beautiful bread. I am going to do it. I can't wait. I'm ordering it right now. Listen, happy Thanksgiving, happy cooking show, happy cooks of Crocus Hill. Go down and see what they have going on. You guys have your cooking classes and you're doing a lot of things yeah. simply, obviously, yeah. right? Everybody's now, you know, shopping for holiday gifts because no one's sure what's going to happen in the middle of the month. So get out early, get to the store early, shop local, take a class, get a coffee, get a croissant, and kiss your kids and family and tell them how much you love them. What do you think? I love all those. Check, check, check. Yeah, right down all the right. box. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Have a good uh, Thanksgiving.